The Technical Training Center of La Cimento National Group, located next to the Cerro Blanco plant, was created in order to provide future generations of young professionals with technical expertise. The campus grounds are surrounded with greenery and include sports and recreational facilities. Young Ecuadorians have the opportunity, since 1986, for 13 years now, to participate in scholarship programs, whereby students receive technical education and guidance in mechanics, electricity, and electronics. Additional benefits include transportation, meals, health care, materials, and a fair remuneration. The day begins very early at the center. Good exercise in a natural setting helps initiate a hard day's work toning the body and mind for the required discipline necessary to make this a fruitful and solid experience in learning. Students are a crucial part of the maintenance and upkeep of all facilities, ensuring adequate conditions for their own work and study. Furthermore, this promotes the spirit of teamwork and discipline. Breakfast is served at 9 a.m. Due to the social environment from which the young people originate, it was found necessary to provide a complete meal plan to ensure that the minimum dietary requirements were met to guarantee the learning process. Students receive all the theoretical information, support, and necessary tools in the classes that are spacious and comfortable. The experiment room is completely equipped for the students to learn about computers, diverse instruments, and specialized tools, also panels, circuits, and relays, which are implemented for the practical and complete understanding. The mechanical lab is fully equipped with all the necessary precision machines for manufacturing an array of tools and spare parts. Here, under professional instructions, students receive hands-on guidance. On exhibit, for general appreciation, there are true miniature replicas fabricated by the students. This is a requirement for graduation. These are reproductions of larger machines they have seen and will be exposed to in their professional lives. The quality and precision of this work is as good as that made by most sophisticated manufacturers in the industry worldwide. The electrical and electronics lab has the implements for training in domestic and industrial electrical installations as well as process control techniques. The students recognize and understand the functioning of the latest technologies through practical work and experience with modern equipment. At the center, one witnesses the applications and top performance projects executed throughout the years. Examples of these are chronotypes, robots, and complicated machines. The work done at the center has been very well promoted by important television programs and other news media, contributing significantly to the image of the group. Who has been the key of its development is its director, Christian Baugartner. He completely identifies with the general philosophy. The philosophy of the center is to take manos de obras calificado para la cemento para el país mismo. Es el sistema como en Suiza, el aprendizaje de los chicos, pero también es algo creado para la industria de cemento, ¿no? un poquito dirigido también en ese, en ese sentido. ¿no? La mayoría se queda aquí, son más o menos 84% que se quedan aquí trabajando en la cemento. Hay unos que se retiran por su propia voluntad y otros que buscan trabajo por otro lado. ¿no? It is noontime, the educational activities wind down, and the student body moves into the cafeteria for lunch. Studies at the center are complemented with internships at the main plant. Students of mechanics, electricity, and electronics are able to experience and become familiar with a real-life setting. This helps enhance and prepare them for their future job. But it is not all academics at the center. 
There is also time to relax and get involved in sports and recreational activities. Maria Asuncion Barriga has the challenging task of selecting about 55 new student candidates yearly from about 1,000 applicants. Furthermore, during their apprenticeship, she is responsible for constantly monitoring the socio-psychological development of each individual. It is very important to make a selection of the students of the Center of Capacitation who are going to enter, because we are interested in that all the students have a great potential for technical areas. In the evaluation of psychotechnical, we do an initial interview to see if the students really want to study a technical career. Y ahí sacamos una preselección. El segundo paso pues eh, ya va a la evaluación de aptitudes. Es para ver sus destrezas, sus habilidades que tienen para el área técnica. En el área de personalidad estamos viendo capacidad de razonamiento, estamos viendo capacidad de adaptación a estabilidad emocional, deseos de desarrollo profesional, todo relacionado a la cultura de la empresa. También se les hace un examen médico. Es un examen totalmente completo y ahí... 274 young people entered the center between 1986 and 1998. Of those, 155 have graduated, 65 have quit, and 54 are currently enrolled. From those who graduated, 128 are working within the companies of the group, and 27 have left for various reasons. These statistics make us proud of the achievement and have certainly contributed to the search of excellence within our group. The cost per student for a three-year program is about 12,000 US dollars, which covers all charges. To live the experience of studying and eventually working for one of the companies of the Group La Cimento Nacional is a real privilege and a source of pride as expressed by several alumni currently employed. Estoy contento de estar aquí en la evolución porque me gusta el trabajo que estoy ejerciendo. Esta empresa está brindando un futuro para los jóvenes. Esa sería la palabra. Somos autosuficientes. O sea, podemos desenvolvernos en cualquier lado. El ser técnico es una buena profesión, sea mecánico o electricista. Y que la escuelita, o sea, te enseña que tú seas un hombre de futuro. Contento, contento porque trabajo como este no hay, por lo menos en la crisis que está pasando en Ecuador. The center has proved to be very supportive and an asset to the companies of the group. All plant personnel have access to the moderately equipped conference rooms and permanently receive training and updating courses which keep them in tune with the latest advances and modifications in the industry. In the last four years, 282 courses have been carried out. Not only the technical or practical subject matter is taken into account, but also priority is given to social, individual, behavioral components. Mariela Aviles is in charge of the coordination of these courses for both students and employees. Nosotros tenemos un plan de capacitación por cargos, el cual nos indica cuáles son las destrezas que cada persona debe desarrollar. Con la evaluación de desempeño que se la realiza en forma semestral a cada persona, nos indica qué tipo de cursos debe tomar dependiendo de la necesidad del cargo. Los alumnos aceptan totalmente la capacitación adicional, reciben tipo de cursos de metodologías de estudios como lectura comprensiva, aprendizaje acelerado, reciben una preparación para el ámbito laboral como seguridad industrial, control de incendios, primeros auxilios y pasantías en la planta. We are of the firm conviction that consistent, well-planned and organized training leads to flexibility, fast learning, aptitudes and positive attitudes among the workforce. This center is a beautiful reality that promises to continue enhancing the companies of La Cimento Nacional Group. We are grateful for the exemplary commitment of all protagonists and the Holder Bank support, which together have represented the backbone of this project for many years. Thank you for your kind attention.